Hi guys, Stuart here from Airshow World. Uh, this is tutorial number two for setting up virtual radar server and um, using a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so um, quick recap on number one. So um, with tutorial number one, I pointed you to the um, where to download everything that you require and all the prerequisites that um, are required, such as the Raspberry Pi and the Arial and everything else that's um, required. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm assuming that um, you have everything all downloaded and re ready to um, run. Uh, what I would suggest is that um, all the downloads that you've done, that um, you put them all into one folder, which is what I have here. There we go, just open that. Yeah. And um, you'll see we have the download, which is there. That is the image file for um, Flight Aware. They call it Pi Aware. Okay. And also we have here the um, disk image uh, utility. There's Putty. Okay. I'm not going to explain everything, what, what they all do. I'm just going to show you because we did all of that in uh, tutorial number one. Yeah, um, please, um, yeah, if you want to look at tutorial number one, please um, go back and look at that. And um, in the um, description of that video, you will see all of the download links for everything that you need to uh, download. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to launch the um, imager, the disk imager. What you also need to have is um, from your Raspberry Pi, the um, micro SD card inserted into the, um, the SD card reader. Have that inside your laptop or a card reader. What and what would happen here is this would I've not got mine actually uh, connected but when you've put your SD card into uh, your reader it would come up as um, the device whereabouts to send the actual um, uh, image file to so what we're going to do right now is we're going to find whereabouts that um, Pi aware image file is. Well, I put it, as you noticed earlier, on the desktop. Here we go, in there. And there it is. I'm just double clicking on that. So that's the actual image file, okay? That's the one that's been downloaded from, from Flight Aware. Now, if I had my um, SD card actually in the laptop or in a reader, I'd be able to select that, send by clicking on write, and that would write to that SD card, okay? So it's as simple as that, so, so easy. Select that, find your image, You've done that hit that drop drop down box make sure it is the correct um, uh, drive so obvious things to do I would suggest that once you put your card into your reader you just double check it, it would come up here yeah and say Yes, that's your removable drive. Yeah, you can see I've not got one in at the moment, but that's what it would do. So just make a note of the actual uh, device letter so that you make sure that <laughs> you're sending that image file to the correct device. Okay, depending on the speed, um, it would. It could take about 15 minutes to uh, actually write the actual um, software, everything that's required. 
on that um, SD card. Once that's completed, what you need to do is take out the um, SD card, then take out the micro SD card, pop it in to your built Raspberry Pi. Okay, follow the instructions that came with the Raspberry Pi and making sure it's inserted the correct way. Once you've done that, um, then we will um, launch um, Putty. Okay, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that in uh, tutorial number three. Okay, so come back and um, we'll show you how to do that. Thanks for watching this section.